Thank you all for staying with us tonight. And can we give a round of applause again to all of our great speakers? <laughs> if, um, if you are able, would you join me and stand up, please? Y'all have all been sitting for a long time. Stand up for a minute. Thank you. Thank you very much. We um, are people of faith. We are people of goodwill who believe that in our society that no child should fear having to go to school that no person should fear walking into a church or a mosque or a synagogue, that no teenager should have to fear going to see a movie or to a shopping mall. But the work that we have ahead of us is difficult work, and if you have been part of this work before, you know the challenges that we face and the organizations that are lined up against us. But our faith teaches us that we can do great things if we join together as we are tonight, a people of different traditions and different backgrounds and different generations committed to the common good of our society. Now, you remember we're talking about Moses, remember the Moses from the Bible, and we remember that when God came to Moses and said, I need your help in leading the people out of Egypt into the promised land, Moses was a little bit taken aback. Moses was a little bit apprehensive about the job that he had been given. But Moses never said, God, do you have any polling data about is this going to work or not? Is there, a, is there a ballot poll that says whether this is going to be successful? No, Moses just took up the call. And for those of us who just celebrated the Christmas season, we're reminded of the great responsibility that was put on Mary when she was told that she was carrying the Son of God. Now, she was a little bit apprehensive, even a little bit surprised at what task she had been given. But what did she say back to God? She said, here I am. And that's the response that we need from all of you tonight and the people of this state. Here I am. So will you please join me in saying, here I am. Here I am. Here I am. We are here together so that the children who are gathered in this place no longer have to climb underneath their desks in fear. We are gathered here so that children no longer die in movie theaters. We are gathered here so that we can shop without having to hide under a counter. We are here to do something that is relatively simple. We are not asking much of the people of Oregon. We are not asking to ban guns that are used in duck hunting. We aren't banning duck hunting guns. We are asking to ban assault weapons. And you don't use assault weapons to hunt ducks.